Tautology, contradiction and contingency some of the very important principles in logic. To understand this, we have a very simple example for you and that is whenever we visualize something, we commonly hear, hear our elders saying that things are neither black and white, there are shades of grey and that is what is tautology. So tautology simply says everything is always true. Contradiction says a contradiction of tautology which says everything is always false and then you have contingency which are the shades of grey as we said. So it says that things are neither true nor false. It can sometimes be true, sometimes be false. So let's understand these one by one. So as we said under tautology we believe that things are always true. Now a simple example would be uh, if I make a statement Indra Gandhi was assassinated or else she was not. Now this is always true so there could be only two conditions and both of those are there in the sentence so Indra Gandhi was assassinated or she was sent assassinated. So she was or she was not are the possible cases and therefore this statement comes out to be always true. Now similarly let's talk about one example from contradiction. Now let's say I make a statement I respect you and I do not respect you. Now this is a contradiction. So either I can respect or I cannot respect. There cannot be a condition when I say I respect and as well as I do not respect. So this is a contradiction and this is always false. So to be very precise, to be very clear, tautologies are always true, contradictions are always false. Now let's understand a very simple example. So when I say P and not P, okay, so P if it is true, not P would be false as simple as that and when I am combining that with or that is P or not P that has to be true. A simple example was the same example Indra Gandhi was assassinated let's say if it is true she was not assassinated which is uh, the tilde P which would be false and therefore P or P not would be what it would be true. So tautologies are true when either p or not p one of them is true and therefore the or statement the final statement that we are giving would be true the next is some of the cases where i believe tautologies are true so let's say a very simple example when i say a if a then a that means if raining then raining now this tautology is 100% always true. So if it is raining, then it is raining, obviously true. So this is always true and therefore a case of tautology. The next is A or not A, the same example, Indra Gandhi was assassinated or she was not. Now this phrase would always be true. So this statement would always be true. Now similarly, we have a statement where I say, rain or cloud the last one let's do the last one of this so rain and cloud if and only if cloud or rain okay so in this statement this is always and always true so when i say rain or cloud if and only if cloud or rain so to to have rain or cloud there has to be cloud or rain and therefore this is always true now coming on to the cases of contradiction now contradiction in the tautology when i am combining a and a naught with or then it is a tautology but when i am combining a and not a with and it comes as a contradiction so let's say i respect you and I do not respect you. Now this is a contradiction because either I can respect or not respect. Combining both the two sentences and saying I respect and I do not respect does not make it always, uh, does not make it true and therefore it is always and always false. So this statement would be always and always false that I respect you and I do not respect you. Similarly, we have another statement if A then B, uh, sorry, if A then A and 
a not of these this statement so if not raining then raining okay so that means this is always false if i am saying if not raining then raining cannot be possible so this is always and always false so therefore it is a contradictory statement now coming on to the cases of contingencies now contingency is a very simple form where it is neither always true nor always false it is sometimes true sometimes false so if i simply say a it is raining then it is a contingency on some of the days it can rain on the other days it might not rain so this is a contingency similarly if i say not a that means it is not raining now it could be true today it could be false tomorrow and therefore it is again a contingency it's not a scenario when it is always and always true or always and always false it can sometimes be true it can sometimes be false so if we come on to the cases of of contingency we have another case let's say if uh, rain or cloud now rain or cloud can sometimes be correct sometimes be false sometimes there can be a scenario when you have rain or cloud or sometimes it could be false similarly if i say if rain then cloud then again it can be sometimes false it can be sometimes true again if i say this way or if i say reverse of it if cloud then rain any of the form it can again be sometimes true again it can be sometimes false because there could be clouds but there could be no rain there could be clouds and there could be rain and there could be a combination where you could have clouds and rains but there could be a combination where there could be rain but no cloud or cl uh, lot of uh, a monsoon which is a season without rain but a lot of clouds okay so there could be any of the combinations that could be there so it could be true it could be false and there could be combinations that could be there so these are some of the cases that are there for contingencies another statement is when you have compound statements so compound statements are the statements when you have multiple statements along so let's say if roses are red and violets are blue then roses aren't red now this is a contingency because first of all i have to satisfy the if condition if my if condition is satisfied then only i'll move to the then condition now if roses are red now let's say i go to a garden the garden does not have any roses or red roses or any blue violets now in that case roses aren't red that would be not valid because if the roses are red then roses aren't red is false but let's take another example another example is if roses are red and violets are blue but i go to a garden there are no roses that are red okay so my if statement automatically becomes false now as soon as my if statement is false i do not know anything about if then automatically becomes true so that that validity becomes true so this statement could be sometimes true sometimes false similarly i have another example the other example is if fire then smoke now if fire then smoke is true for most of the cases that you see around but let's take an example of an iron ball now when when you are having a fire on an iron ball there is no smoke so if fire then smoke turns out to be a false statement in the case of an iron ball but in the case of let's say a kitchen hearth or an oven it comes out to be a true statement so that is what we have studied in our section of hetu and vyapti in uh, the sections on indian logic but the idea here is to understand contingencies tautologies and contradictions very very important terms in logic we have already mentioned some of the examples for you we would be covering many more interesting lessons in logic uh, so stay tuned for many lessons from our side have a wonderful day ahead